Hi, Steven here from Real Time Casting, showing you a quick demonstration of how to create a voice artist profile. Now, if you look at the center of the home page, you're going to see the button that says register. All memberships on Real Time Casting for auditioning cost $199, but you can have a free profile on the website. And I encourage you to do so because there are always opportunities that may spring up due to simply being on the website and offering something that nobody else can offer. So if I click on register here, I'm going to be taken to a page that asks me for a username, a name, profile URL, email, password, confirm password, and how did you hear about us. There's all sorts of little information embedded in these little question marks that you see here next to each word. My tip for your name and also your URL name is to use your real name. There used to be a time where people used fake names to kind of hide something. I don't recommend that anymore, especially now in a day and age where people use Google as a bit of a phone book. So they may just type your name in to find something and you want your real-time casting URL to come up. When you're done registering, you're going to get an email from us that says welcome and it'll have your, new, your username and password. After you log in, or I should say when you go to the login page, you can type in what your username and password was, and that will take you directly to a section where you can look at auditions, fix my demos up, edit profile, look at your profile, and adjust your settings. All of the images that you see down here are also, excuse me, are also available under here under the My Profile section. So you have My Dashboard, uh, View Profile, Edit Profile, My Demos, Auditions, and Settings. The auditions we won't cover right now because that's part of another video where we'll show you how to audition for a job. For this here, um, my the, the uh, editing of profile is very simple. All you have to do is put your profile picture in there, put your name in there. The important section I would say here is the bio because the bio is going to put um, all the detailed information of your profile and that information is going to be used to match you to searches in our section called Find a Voice, which is up at the very, very top. So what's going on with that? It means that it doesn't mean you should keyword stuff. What it does mean is that you should comprehensively fill out exactly what it is that you do. If you want to talk to a person, you know, and, and write the way you would describe your, your skills, that's a perfect way to do it. And it'd even be better if you go back and remove all the I am, I did this, you know, I was once this. You know, let people... Uh, find you in searches for what you do best. There's a section down here for uh, for country to select. Um, then there's the state, the city you're in, the agent representation. If you don't have an agent, you can use real-time voices. But if you do have an agent, you should see one of them down here in our complete list. Male and female is obviously the gender there. The languages as well, you'll see that there's a menu of these. I'm just selecting a bunch of them for the purposes of this. The dialect section is just a typing section, okay? And you hit enter. Genres offered, it's still a typing and hitting enter section. We will change that to click down boxes shortly. Your age range we have child to uh, 61 plus. Now, I will say if you have any child um, or, or if, you're, if your kid is a voice actor or something or maybe wants to get into it, uh, let us know because we're actually looking to populate more of our youthful community of this uh, website up on uh, real-time casting. Union affiliation, we have everything from SAG after MEAA, uh, Financial Corps, eligible, act for British equity, and non-union status. Um, whatever you select there, you know, I'll be honest with you, don't ever try to game a system. The fact is, is when using websites, there's this feeling that you can't trust it right away anyway. The last thing you want to have happen is someone wants to hire you because they love your voice, 
only to find out that they can't because you weren't honest about a status of your union. That's a really, it's, you know, it's just not a really good thing to do. It's always best to be honest when you're using online websites. Production capability. We have everything from Home Studio, ISDN, Source Connect, IPDTL, FTP, and Professional Studio. After you're done with this, click Save. And you'll be taken back to this section here where it'd be time to upload your demos. Now the demos section, um, you have a couple of options here, okay? Uh, the best thing that you can do is talk to whoever the human being is out there that's listening to your demo about what's on it. Just kind of like what you do with your bio. You know, it doesn't have to be like a whole bunch of keywords. You know, even if it's a, a description that says, this is a recording of me doing SAI Global Recording where I did a dialogue, real, and conversational spot. Okay? Now, for, um, for this little option down here, this is Featured Demo, when you upload a file, I'm going to upload this one again, and you put in your demo name and your description, You're going to have the opportunity to list it as, oops, I actually used that one already. So let me change this one. So you could see I was able to actually change that without messing up the description and the title. But let's say that I want to, you know, feature this demo, okay? I just click on this here. Some notes about this. Um, some notes about this is that if you use Internet Explorer, uh, your demos may not play on your computer when using this website. Um, this website works best on Google Chrome and on Mozilla Firefox. Um, the other thing you should know about this website as well is that some older mobile devices, maybe around like, uh, uh, around like Generation 4, um, they may not work with this specific type here so if your mo if your mobile device maybe goes back to like 2007 or so or so it may not in fact work um, the other thing about this as well you can download these so this is a good place to keep your demos you can delete them and we allow for up to 10 demos to be uploaded as far as um, when you're done with that you can view your profile to check out what it looks like and you'll see the demos appear on top, then the bio, then the voice details. By the way, at the very bottom of each screen, you're going to see links for FAQs, pricing, testimonials, blog, and contact us. Uh, testimonials are from talent and producers who are using the site. And uh, the uh, blog itself, you know, I recommend to everybody make sure that you read it because I offer lots of information on there. The other thing about this here, too, is that you can share your profiles when you're completed with it, okay? So this is just a test account, but you could still share it on Google+, Twitter, and Facebook, and even email it to other people. If you want to adjust your settings, now why would you adjust your settings? You would do it to change your custom URL. You'd also do it to um, check the email that you are using. I guarantee you, again, it's a bad idea to use your agent's email. The reason, the main reason being, and you actually can't do it on this new site anyway, um, the main reason being is that uh, your agent may get emails from us that should be going to you, and they have no idea what to do with them. Um, you could change your password. Not sure why that pops up. Uh, change your password um, and newsletters. I tell everybody that uses this website, make sure you get newsletters from us. The reason why is because I talk about this website all the time and I talk about other things going on online as well. To not get a newsletter from us is you're missing out on some great information that's being sent to you every single week. So really, I would say keep, keep the newsletters. Make sure that you keep getting them. That's all for us as far as showing you how to fill out a profile. We'll show you other videos in the future about auditioning and other tips as well uh, please keep an eye on that on our youtube page and uh, we'll be sharing this video as well in a newsletter thanks so much have a good day